stage and screen with Andy Snowden. Let us know what you want to hear on WhatsApp with the number 01978 540 410. We love local. Callan FM. Night Bus released last November and was the debut solo single for Welsh actress and singer-songwriter Caitlin Lavagna. Hailing from the Rhondda down in South Wales, Caitlin has developed a huge passion for singing and rhythm, being a drummer. Uh, she has a rich vocal and a knack for instant pop hooks. This week, her latest single, Lost Track, was released together with starring in a brand new production of Vernon's Girls at Liverpool's Royal Court. I think it's fair to say uh, she's rather busy, but she's taken time out of her hectic schedule to speak to us live on the stage and screen show. And Caitlin, uh, well, the last time we spoke, you were deep in rehearsals for uh, for the famous theatre fluid pantomime last Christmas. How was it? I, pre- I presume it was a success. Yeah, I mean, that was just the most amazing job um i don't know if you saw recently we actually ben actually won best villain so that was really exciting for everyone right um yeah so um yeah it was just it was just such a beautiful group of people and the script was brilliant and yeah we just had so much fun uh, in the room and and working out you know how to make it the best it could have been and we absolutely did do that but i mean you say um, ben won the best villain i mean that that doesn't doesn't surprise me in the slightest because he was fantastic but the whole cast is so talented at the theater clue it's uh, it, it's incredible actually Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that, I think I said this last time to you, just one of the joys of doing actor news or panto at Christmas is, is being able to meet new musicians and actors. And yeah, they just, everyone, everyone was absolutely on such a, a, a huge standard. It was so inspiring. And since then, of course, I've got to ask you about Fisherman's Friends, the musical. Yeah, is... so I got drafted in to uh, cover uh, Louisa on the drums. Uh, she was off sick for a while, so... Yeah, that was literally like a phone call from my agent on the Friday that was like, they need a drummer to start on Monday. Can you do it? And I was like, oh, God, yes, I think I can. I don't know. Wow. Um, but, it, it, yeah, it was it was pretty, pretty crazy. But, um, again, met some beautiful, beautiful people, um, actors of all different ages as well, because unlike some of the other work that I've been doing, um, they were a, a slightly older cast. They were less young people. So I really kind of turned into a bit of a sponge and just tried to soak up as much kind of of their experiences and advice and things like that so it was such a such a, a great great thing to be a part of and in your experiences is that kind of how an actor's life is you know one minute you're you're out of work and the next minute you get a phone call can you start tomorrow is that <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare yeah yeah it, it, it is a nightmare it, i won't beat around the bush it's an absolute nightmare <laughs> you can't plan anything you know like as an example this week um my sister bought me harry styles tickets for my birthday um to see him in cardiff and i didn't know then obviously that i i would be in liverpool in vernon's girls so yeah. um it's just you just kind of constantly miss out on things and and you can't really plan ahead but you know you could say it's it's frightening and scary and blah 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 but actually it's really exciting because you just don't know what's around the corner and you're well as you say you're just opening uh when you've opened a couple of weeks ago in vernon's girls that's playing at the uh, the liverpool royal court um what's that one about that sounds terrific that yeah, it's it's really good fun. It's um it's a story set in the fifties and sixties about the actual Vernon's girls. It's a true story. Um, we actually had some of them come in on guest night the other night, which was really really lovely. Um, and yeah, it's a story about how they kind of rose to fame and all of the baffling, huge huge names in music that they worked with and married and all sorts of wonderful. I won't give I won't give too much away, but yeah, it's it's a fantastic story and the music is is um it, it's been so fun having to kind of stick to the rules and stuff of of the sixties music, you know, especially on drum kit. So yeah, there's lots of choral singing, close harmonies. Lot, uh, the, yeah, it's, it's just it's just a really fun night out. And as as I don't know whether you've been to Royal Court, I assume you have, but the um, the audience is there, just absolutely lapping it up, having a great time. Yeah. Liverpool, Liverpool audiences are uh, notoriously uh, a happy bunch when they're out, that's for sure. Rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<laughs> but anyway, I mean, of course, the, the last time we spoke, you were you were promoting your first your first solo single. It was called Night Bus. It was a belter. You've uh, you've got a new one out, and this this is this one tops it for me. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Aww. It's called We Lost Track, and uh, we're going to give it its its uh, Cal on FM debut anyway in a moment. But uh, tell us about it. What's it about? <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I suppose it's about um, it's about giving too much of yourself to somebody and not kind of realizing that they aren't treating you right. I suppose and feeling disappointed in hindsight when you look back at something and yeah, it's just it's, it's a love song, it's a heartbreak song, it's, it's that type of thing. But um, I really wanted to try and recreate musically like what a panic attack would be like in the bridge. And I've, I've really tried to match the kind of string instruments and generally the like the, the actual music rather than just the story and the lyrics to, to, to just make make the music speak for itself. So you could take the lyrics out and it would make sense. If that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Um, and yeah, it was my it's my first experience of writing well, not my first experience, but as a solo artist, my first experience of writing a, a ballad. Um, so it was so important for me to get this right, and I'm so nervous to release it. <laughs> but, um, but I'm really excited as well. Well, yeah, I mean, I, w- I wouldn't be nervous, because I, I, I always think if you can hear a song for the first time and be hooked straight away, that's a mm-hmm. massive uh, a massive bonus, because, you know, if, if it's not a grower, you know, <laughs> it, you're, yeah. I mean, you're, you're halfway there already. But I was going to ask you about the writing process, actually, because you're, uh, well, as you, you pointed out, you're a, you're a drummer, really, by trade. Yeah. Are you, do you play other instruments as well? How do you write? So I play... Technically, I play piano and bass and a few other things, but um, really, because of Fisherman's Friends, the, the tour, that was going to be my kind of time set aside to go to the studio with Joe, my producer, and to write with him. And because that took off, again, not being able to plan ahead or do anything <laughs> because of acting, we just managed to start writing on Zoom. So I would literally send in voice notes of like melodies that I liked or lyrics um, and kind of experiences and stories that I wanted to talk about. And then Joe would go away and come up with some chords and I'd we'd kind of just work it out very slowly like that. So I guess it was a slower process, but I quite enjoyed kind of writing on Zoom with him like once a week because I think the distance away from it allowed us to, to continuously come into the same idea with a fresh... Um, with fresh ears and with a fresh idea. Yeah. And then, yeah, basically I'd, I'd send little kind of clips of drumming and rhythms and um, harmony parts and percussion and things like that to add to songs. And then from there, we ended up getting a demo. And then I was like, look, I, I think this one, I think this one could be released properly. Um, let's just book a studio and go and get it done. But after Fisherman's Friends, or can, can we expect uh, Caitlin, Caitlin Lavagna sea shanty? Is that on the cards? Do you reckon? I mean, I mean, it's tempting. It's tempting, Andy. But um, <laughs> I think I think I'll leave that to the old men. You've got to give them something, <laughs> haven't you? You've got to give them something. <laughs> but it's such an emotive uh, genre of music, sea shanty, it isn't is. it? It's incredible. It is. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if if being in that environment definitely um, kind of encouraged me to to stick with the ballad idea rather than making it another bar. But that said, I I, um, I did I did kind of dr- rope in, if, if for lack of a better word, uh, on topic, um, some friends that I'd met, some of the folk musicians and actor musicians on that job. Um, Hannah, uh, Hannah Cummings plays fiddle and violin uh, on the track. And uh, Hazel Simmons plays cello. Um, as well as my friend from Bruford, Charlotte, who's added some beautiful saxophone. Um, and then Hazel, Hazel and Owen came along and, was, and they were like, let's do a video of the of the day. And then now that's turned into a music video for the song. So I, again, like, I'm just so grateful to consistently be with new musicians and new people and therefore able to not use my friends, but for lack of a better word, but be able to kind of encourage them to have a go at... at, at something on the track I, i'm very i'm not very as much as i know what i want and i know what i want something to sound like yeah. i absolutely love inviting friends onto a track and saying look i want something in at, at this bar it needs to kind of rise like what do you want to do let's talk about it yeah fantastic <laughs> um yeah it must be a lovely way to work just to be in a studio it, yeah. and just say this is what i like this is what i want and then yeah. and then to be able to deliver it must be wonderful actually 
It is brilliant. And then the best part about it is being able to share everything and tag all my friends and then they they can use it for, you know, their careers and they can say, I played on this track and look at this. And it's just, it's just, I prefer working like that rather than kind of hiring people that I don't really know. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, and it's yeah. called We Lost we lost Track. Um, how can people people get hold of it? Is it available to download yet? Yes, you can down, You can pre-save and you can pre-order um, on like iTunes, Amazon Music, Spotify. Look out for a very special video that's going to be dropping on the actual day that it comes out, which I'm really excited about. I've never done that before. I've normally kind of dragged it out. <laughs> but I'm just like, no, it's today. Have it all. <laughs> um, and yeah. You can pretty much find it anyway. Just type in my name, Caitlin Lavagna. Um, it's like lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I. That's how I practice it. Yeah. <laughs> lasagna, yeah, exactly. lasagna. There we are. Marvelous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we lost track. Available to download now. And uh, could you do me a favour? Could you uh, could you queue it up for us? I can indeed. Um, so this is Caitlin Lavagna's new single, We Lost Track. Fantastic. Caitlin, always a pleasure to speak to you, my friend. Thanks ever so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. No worries at all. And uh, good luck with Vernon's girls. And that's, uh, that runs at the Royal Court until the 8th of July. All the best. Thank you. Bye. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs> Lost track, the brand new one from Caitlin Lavagna, available to download now on iTunes, Amazon Music, and indeed Spotify. Fantastic. Stage and screen with Andy Snowden. Let us know what you want to hear on WhatsApp with the number 01978 540 410. We love local. Callan FM. FM.